All right, uh, let's look at the uh, practice exam three, number 11. All right, so uh, you have uh, 1,000 uh, people, and uh, you can see that the 8% has the tuberculosis, right? So I'm going to divide into two kinds of people. So T4 tuberculosis and uh, T prime, T complement for not having tuberculosis. So it said that the 8%, so that would be 0 0.08, and a probability of not having would be 0 0.92. All right. Then it says that for people who have tuberculosis, Test positive 90% of the time, so positive. So I'll put P for 90%, so 0 0.9. And uh, let's see, negative, so N. So I'll put N for negative. And this is uh, 3%, uh, 3 so 0 0.03. And then inconclusive is uh, 7%. So 0 0.07, so inconclusive, right? For people who did not have tuberculosis, test positive 5% of the time, so 0 0.05, so positive. And uh, let's see, negative, oh, let's see, uh, a negative 85% of the time, so 0 0.85, so that's negative. Right, then inconclusive, uh, what was it, 10% of the time, 0 0.1. Right, so this is a tree table. All right, then we're looking for the probability of a randomly selected person having tuberculosis given that the tuberculosis test is positive. So we're looking for the probability of having a tuberculosis uh, given that it's uh, had the te uh, positive result. All right. By definition of a conditional probability, this is just defined as probability of uh, test uh, tuberculosis and uh, positive test result divided by probability of getting a positive test result. All right. So uh, this is going to be All right, so you can see that, uh, let's say, uh, having a tuberculosis and a positive test result. So this is the tree branch that we have to look at. So you have uh, having tuberculosis at the same time you have a positive result. So which means that the probability would be uh, 0 0.08 times uh, 0 0.9. Right, and uh, having a positive result would be there a couple of different ways. You have you can have a tuberculosis and have a positive result. Another way is by mistake. You don't have tuberculosis, but turns out that uh, you have a positive result by mistake. All right, so that would be so you have to add them up. So zero point zero eight times zero point nine plus right 0 0.92 times 0 0.05 all right then compute that all right so 8 times 9 is uh, 72 all right, then you have one, two, three decimal places, one, two, three decimal place. So we have that, all right. Then, so you have a 0 0.072 plus, all right, so you have a five times two is 10, and uh, five times uh, nine is 40, Five 
and uh, so you have a one two three four so 0 0.046 right so if you combine that you're going to get uh, let's see 0 0.072 over all right so 6 plus 2 is uh, 8 and uh, 4 plus 7 is 11 and so uh, let's see so that's it right so it's going to be 0 0.118 right so we can multiply by thousand so that way you can move the decimal point one two three so that's going to be 72 multiply uh, 1000 uh, that's going to be um, 118 and uh, which is going to be uh, divide top and bottom by 2 uh, 36 over uh, 59 right so that's the probability of having tuberculosis uh, given that you have a positive result right that's it i hope that this was clear